Okay, so the final task that you can automate amongst the many in HoneyBook, but that you can automate right away is your scheduling. So um, HoneyBook allows you to um, make a scheduler for a number of different types of sessions. Um, it does not allow you to have people pay for things with their scheduler, but it can allow you to schedule people, reschedule them, cancel all of that stuff. So I'm going to walk you through how to set up your scheduler and then how to automate it within your workflow. So for this one, um, I'll go through my client calls. So anytime you come in, um, your, your session will be blank at first until you type in what it is. And then I have my HoneyBook integrated with Zoom, um, which I cover how to connect your integrations in my mini course on your account setup. And so anytime that somebody schedules with me under this scheduler, a Zoom link will automatically be generated once it's scheduled. So then um, I'm in the East Coast, so that's my time zone and then how long the call is. Just a color that you want, maybe one that's closest to your brand. Any instructions you have to give to your clients, so you can just put those right in here. Um, and then I always send a reminder one day before their session. You can also send it an hour. You can have a couple of options for reminders. So you can always add another one in here if you want. And then availability, so when you wanna put your availability in with your clients. So a lot of times what I tell people to do for this is to come in a month in advance because generally speaking, you know, our, our calendars about a month in advance. Um, so I would just say come in and then what you can do is you click on one of these boxes and then you can add your time. So if you want to add your different times you're available, you can add multiple times in here. So you add your time. So maybe you're only available from like one to four on Mondays. Now, if you keep this checked, it will apply to every single Monday from here on out. So if you only want it for one Monday or a couple Mondays a month, you just have to uncheck that box and it'll only make it available for that specific Monday. So that's something to know in there. And then you click save and then you'll be good to go. So then your times are available in here in your scheduler and people can come in and schedule a time. So you wanna do that first, you wanna set that up. Um, I just keep these off, you could have buffers and minimum notice and custom increments if you want, it's totally up to you. And then the confirmation page. Now you can't actually edit this confirmation page. You can see that message right there, it's not editable, but they will receive a confirmation page. Now, one thing you wanna do is if you want them to receive a confirmation email too, in addition to the page, make sure that this toggle is on. And then if you wanna allow rescheduling or cancellations, you can turn those on or off. So some people are like, no, I don't wanna allow that. Then you just turn them off. Maybe you wanna allow rescheduling, but not a cancellation, totally up to you. So once you get all those settings in place, you'll click on save and finish, and then you'll have your scheduler ready. So what I always like to do is I like to click on preview to see what my clients will see. So when my clients come in and they wanna schedule a time with me, this is what they'll see. So let's say they wanna do next Thursday at 1.30 and they fill out their information right here hit continue and they'll go to that confirmation page. Um, and then they'll also get a confirmation email because I have it set up on the back end that way. So then what you'll do is you'll take this link and you'll come into your templates and you wanna link this within an email template. So let's say in my inquiry response, I want people to schedule a call with me or I say like, hey, the next step is to schedule a discovery call to make sure we're the right fit. So I can just write that sentence in here. Um, the next step is to schedule a discovery call to ensure we will, uh, we would be a good fit working together. Um, you can click here to schedule a time. Okay, so then when, again, to link something in here, you'll highlight it, type that in, link it in, and then you'll be good to go. So then what you'll wanna do is you can send this as a test email to yourself to ensure that that link is working. Um, and again, you can always like bold it, you can underline it, you can make it a different color, up to you. But what I like to do is I just like to copy and paste that link in here to make sure it opens up just fine, and then that should be good to go. So then it says you can click here to schedule a time, and that allows you to put your scheduler link into um, an email template, and then what we can do is automate that email template in your workflow, which is what I'm gonna show you next. So I'm gonna take this out just because we don't need that. And then from here, what we'll do is you go to tools and you go to automations again, come into that specific workflow, and then you simply click add, send an email, and then you would pick from that inquiry response. And then now that we've linked that scheduler in there, then when this inquiry response 
email sends automatically, the, the schedule will be linked in there. And so I cover that as well within templates and automations in those courses. And then obviously too, if you need help behind the scenes and you need additional support, my team and I can absolutely help with that, with the setup um, and getting everything configured for you in your account. But that would be the final, um, most immediate task to automate within your business right away in HoneyBook.